should we allow the remaining human desires to play out so to exhaust these lower human desires basically first thing nobody is there to allow or disallow nobody is there you are the witness the witness does not allow things does not disallow things very neutral impartial and conditional seer observer that's all neutral observer so just like said nothing needs to be done if a desire arises and it is important the intellect will function accordingly the intellect is a mechanism it will function as per its knowledge and it will say yes or no if it is not important it will be pushed away not important it will never go away but it is ignored and if it is important and if the means of satisfaction are there automatically the action will happen and the fruits will be taken whatever good or bad and if the means are not there the desire returns to the causal body and it waits for the next opportunity there is nobody to interfere in this mechanism there is no individual want since there is no individual desire the desire to allow or disallow is also not there at the level of the illusion we use this kind of language sometimes now it is a seeker this individual is a seeker now the seeker is confused what should i do with my desires and so on so taking into consideration the ignorance of the seeker the guru will suggest something or oh, he is still thinking that they are my desires so the guru is going to give a medicine it will be like fake medicine and as soon as the intellect of that seeker matures to the point where it understands finally that nothing is mine it's all an illusion it's all happening on its own there is no me and at that point this question will be dropped it is not that there there is an answer to this questions no there is no answer because the questions arise from ignorance and when the ignorance is seen the questions disappear it's always like this most of the time that is why awareness is so important the meaning of awareness is simply this that you always remember always remember the knowledge be in the knowledge and then whatever happens happens it's perfectly okay as soon as there is a thought that this should not happen or i need to do something or there is a thought that i need to stop something and uh, i need to interfere into these things you know this machine is not working perfectly so let me fix it these are all egoic thoughts is the individual cooking up these thoughts experience or never does things like this it never thinks anything so once it is seen in the light of awareness the thoughts they arise and they disappear and then whatever must happen as per the laws of the mind it happens even if you queue up your desires you know prioritize your desires that i want to fulfill this and that under the spell of the ignorance it is perfectly okay no problem now this is happening now this is this was important this was necessary so this priority wise list has been made by the creature but but it will fail very quickly it is frustrating so that is why we have this idea of living in the moment do the next thing see what is the desire today are there any means available drop down in ignorance drop down in the illusion carry out the work and then come back in awareness oh it was all illusion it was not me i did nothing and the next day this will continue till the causal body ex- is exhausted or is tired of doing meaningless actions because all these human human actions are meaningless anyway so there is detachment now finally and the birth stops human birth will stop and the human desires will stop this is the mechanism it is not possible to allow or disallow the natural mechanism will take care of it and on the path of knowledge obviously we are in a hurry but not that much not in an extreme hurry so we wait for nature to do her work we cannot do anything that is poetic description nature is simply an idea pratib is saying seeker has me this too what's your date of self realization and how much then time you took for brahma gyan if you can share it date of self realization i think it happened many times now i forgot and every time it was covered up by some kind of ignorance again so which date is he asking the first one or the 20th one 30th one you see these questions are very funny what what people are going to achieve by this 
No, I'm talking about this lifetime only. I don't remember any other lifetime. What people are expecting by this? It happened many times in this lifetime. How many times everybody must have heard these things, no? You are the Atman. You are the Brahman. We are listening to these things since the since childhood. Sometimes there is a light bulb that quick, quickly goes back into ignorance. So it is still going on, you see. Who knows next day it will be gone. Then it will come back again. So nobody has the control over these dates. But the point is that seeker will gain nothing by knowing the date. Is he going to celebrate the anniversary? <laughs> Something like this. And then how much time I took for Brahma again? Who knows? <laughs> Was I counting the days? So many days for Brahma again? No. And even if I took some X number of days, it is going to do nothing for others. They will take their own time. They can take 50 lifetimes if it is necessary. So, you see, these questions deserve a heavy fees, 20,000 per question. And then people will stop asking stupid questions. Then they will value their question. You know, I should ask something which benefits me. You must have guessed why, why most of the teachers, they take a lot of money for answering the questions. So that you value this time. If he keeps asking these questions, he will never achieve these things. He will never get the knowledge. He will keep counting the days and dates, celebrating anniversaries. So anyway, ignorant people, you cannot expect them to ask anything concerning knowledge. The darkness is complete. The blackout is complete. So my answer is mostly, most of the time it is like this, you know. People ask all kinds of dates. What is your date of birth? What is your date of marriage? What is your date, date of death? Do you know your date of de death? <laughs> I said that. And I have only one answer. Even if I told you, how is how is that going to get you closer to your goal? And then it turns out they don't have any goal. They are just killing time. Paramjit is saying, why some seekers have the knowledge of path of knowledge and still can't separate themselves from Tantra or Agarwa? other open. You see, is it necessary to separate from Tantra? Are you saying that it is harmful and they still continue practicing it? Are you saying it like this? Or are you saying that they are interested in it, successfully practicing it for whatever reason? There can be two situations, no? In the first situation, the seeker on the path of knowledge keeps doing the stupid things which are harming him or wasting his time. And that means he has no knowledge, you see. In the second situation, where he is utilizing the occult, the mental technology for some good purpose, you know, like for teaching, etc. Removing the obstacles of the seekers and so on. Then it's very good. Should not separate. Should continue using it. So I'm asking Paramjit, these, who are these some seekers? What are they doing wrong? Can you tell me? Because it is personal. Whatever people do in their life is personal choice. It is like, you have the knowledge that I am not the body. But the body is still eating, the body is still sleeping. Why don't you simply separate yourself from the body and stop all these things? Paramjit is saying, I am not into that. But I have listened, seen in this satsang. Some seekers are doing that part one of your answer. Okay, how can we stop anybody, you see? Their path is different then. If they do it without asking me, then I have no way to know anything, you see. How come, how come you came to know all these things? <laughs> Because occult is supposed to be secret. Nobody should know about it. But if I come to know about it, then my answer is very clear that don't do it. If you want to do it, get a guru. Without guru, it should not be done. If they don't ask me, I have no objection actually. Because a guru does not mean that he commands people. Guru means he guides people. There is only guidance, you see. In my commands also, there is only guidance. Rajit is asking, I want to please Devi or Goddess. How can I do the same? I feel very positive when I worship Goddess. It's very easy. You need to find a good teacher who can teach you the worship part and the techniques, the rituals and so on and start following the instructions. You can go to any Devi temple nearby. Start asking or you can go to any ashram which belongs to this path or you can search on the internet. Devi Sadhana and so on. So you will get many people who can teach you. Jagannath is saying, Is self-realization, Brahman relation permanent? If not, how long can one expect this realization to, uh, realization to last before ignorance takes over again? You see, knowledge is stored in the memory and just like everything else, impermanent. 
However, once the impression is there, this impression will keep on expressing as a desire for knowledge in whatever form it takes. In that form, this desire will be present. Nothing to worry, you see. Probably you are still thinking that this person realizes that I am the Brahman and then wants to keep this knowledge. No, never happens. The realization is that there is no person, there is only Brahman. This form is the illusory play of Brahman. And now there is nobody to keep the knowledge, you see. And there is no use keeping it. When this impression is made, then whatever the natural process is, will happen. If it must be forgotten, it will be forgotten. If it is recalled again, some other lifetime, it will be recalled. Then the next part is, how long can one expect this, real, this realization to last before ignorance takes over? See, my experience is, it can take anything from five minutes to the whole lifetime. There is no formula to calculate these things, you see. And even if, if I told you a number, what are you going to do with that number? Tell me. Just like I said, no, somebody was asking the dates of realization and how long it takes. Even if I tell you a number, what will you do with it? How will that make you progress further? How will that clear any of your ignorance? Do you want the knowledge so that it can last forever? Just like the marriage, you know, everybody marries thinking that it will last forever. Same way they treat the spirituality. No, you need to do that which is necessary and relax, enjoy, be in the bliss. The bliss should last forever, nothing else. So whenever the time is right, the bliss will present itself. Your nature is bliss. And whenever the time is needs something else, if the creature needs to go back in darkness, it will go back. Nobody controls these things. Nothing can, can be calculated. So you can expect few minutes to few years, anything, depending on the impurities present. And still it is not predictable. One thing is very much probable and that is the next life will be in darkness. It's almost guaranteed. That is why I keep saying, you see, make this impression so strong in your mind and that it appears in every birth and it will appear at the right time. Like she was asking, can we allow the desires to happen and relax this awareness thing for a while? I am changing the question a little bit. You see, the nature will do whatever is necessary for her to conduct her business because the awareness gives the creature a power, the power to delay. You cannot stop it, you can delay it. You can delay the action, not today. But if it happens too much, then nature has a trick. As soon as you are reborn, you are means, this creature is reborn, the whole knowledge is erased and the darkness takes over and all the karmic stuff is, stuff is settled the suffering, the happiness, everything happens. And then she allows, you know, she allows, not us. We have no control. And there is also, poetically speaking, like I said, idea only. So she allows for the awareness to arise, for the knowledge to arise again. And that event is called grace. We say, now the person is under grace. It has finally happened that he is searching for a guru. He has finally recognized his ignorance. This is very big event in the universe and it happens to a few. The rest, dates, times, equations and pleasing goddesses, gods, the rest are a waste. This impression, this very very strong desire to liberate will rescue you every time from ignorance. Just in, ingrain it in yourself if you can. 